y'all so i'm making this video today because a lot of people have asked to see my setup for my wigs so on instagram on snapchat i typically like when i make a wig and when i'm done with it i typically will show like the setup right before i take pictures and a lot of people always ask me about my setup how i'm able to like just set up everything <laughs> for my wigs. So this video is pretty much to show you guys my setup, all of the items I use where I pretty much purchase everything and the cost of everything. Y'all please believe that everything is 100% affordable. Because I don't like to break, break the bank, okay? I don't like to break my pockets. I don't, it's so hard for me to spend money. <laughs> It's so hard for me to just spend money on stuff that I'm just really particular about how much I am willing to pay for certain things. Now, of course, there are some things that you really have no choice but to pay for because the prices are just kind of on the high side for those items. But honestly, this is my setup and I'm just going to show you guys how exactly I go about um, setting up everything for my week. Also, before I show you guys the setup, I just want to tell you of the importance. It is so important that you have good photos and good videos of your wigs. Just, it is a major selling point. A lot of people who are trying to sell wigs, honestly, like when it comes to selling wigs, your presentation has to be on point because wigs are at such a higher dollar amount they cost so much to where people honestly if you paying you know if you charge your 300 dollars for a wig but your whole picture like it is too dark people can't see all the details they see your background your background is all dirty and messed up you ain't clean up your house like people are taking in all of those different details and they're going to instantly say like no this is not worth 300 dollars." so you have to be able to if something costs 300 dollars, like if it's a 300 dollar wig then everything about it needs to look like it's worth 300 dollars. okay so presentation is everything it will break or make you in this industry it literally will break or make you in this industry so if you are experiencing that your weeks just aren't selling well or you feel like you're not gaining a lot of followers on your social media it's probably because your picture quality isn't up to par of course there are many other factors that determine uh, follower account engagement sales there are many other factors that determine that of course i go into detail about all of those different factors everything that have to do with marketing and the type of content you should have on your page your social media pages i go into detail in that on the webinar so if you have not attended the webinar but you want to catch the replay please click the link below that way you are able to watch the replay of the webinar i recently had but y'all it is extremely important that you have a nice setup and that all of your wigs are consistent that's another thing you must be consistent that's it like honestly i can spot out certain people like they don't even have to put their they don't even have to put their watermark on their videos or on their pictures just because of the background that they use and how they set up um their display i know exactly which wig maker that is because they are very consistent with their background how they actually set up and take their pictures of their wigs like i can instantly tell like uh, -uh that picture like because y'all know them chinese vendors be stealing pictures and all all that other good stuff so i can look at a chinese vendor i can look at the picture and be like uh, -uh they stole that picture from alonzo or uh, uh they stole that picture from adri or uh, uh they stole that picture from miss foxy like i can't honestly i can tell so um, but I just, I feel like it does make everything look professional and cohesive when all of your wigs are taken with the same background and not having different backgrounds all the time. So I just feel like it's very important to have, um, your wig set up. It's just very, it's important. It, it helps. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just play the video showing y'all my setup and just talk about, do a voiceover to talk about the prices of everything and where I pretty much purchase everything at i will leave the links down below of all of the products and items that i do show in this video so yeah all right you guys so this is pretty much just a behind the scenes view of how my wig display is set up and i'm just going to break down everything that i use in order to get this set up 
So the first thing I use is this folding table that you can get at Walmart. I feel like I only paid like $7 for this. And all I did was put a fur little carpet rug on top of the folding table. I got that from Forever 21. It was about $17, $18. Yes, y'all, I got that from Forever 21. <laughs> the next thing I got is this satin fabric, this silk fabric, which I also got from Walmart. It had to be like $4 for two yards of fabric. And pretty much what is on, it is... Y'all, it's so bootleg, okay? <laughs> so, as you can see, all my canvas heads are up there on a shelf. Now, this shelf I got from Ikea. Um, the shelf was about 7 to $10 from Ikea, and it was really easy to install and put up. Um, sometimes I like to use the flower wall, as you guys can see. Uh, and I have a whole YouTube video about the flower wall, but all I do to hang up... The material is I put the material on top of the shelf and then I use my canvas head to kind of hold the material in place. And that is pretty much my backdrop. So it's super bootleg, but it works. Okay. <laughs> and of course, the next thing I use is my mannequin head. Now, I got this one off of Amazon. And honestly, Amazon have the cheapest prices for these type of, I think they're called fiber class mannequin heads they're about sixty dollars on youtube not youtube amazon and of course you want to put your um you know your wig on top of there and that is pretty much my setup my display um also not mentioned is my ring light which i also got from amazon i feel like i paid 60 to 80 dollars for the ring light i feel yeah, I feel like I paid sixty to eighty dollars for the ring light. The ring light make a huge difference. Um, I will turn the light off. Yep, so it was off, and you see, I just turned it back on, and how much of a difference it makes. So I really stand behind getting a ring light. It just really, it just really makes everything pop, and you can see all of the details. Now, if this mannequin head isn't in your budget, you can always use the regular canvas head. So all I'm doing is adjusting my ring light so it can, you know, sit up there to the canvas head. But the current canvas head that I'm using is kind of dirty because I work on this one. So I always say if you're going to display your units on a canvas head, always use a one a canvas head that is nice and clean that way everything looks nice and professional and then you can just put the canvas head up against the the fabric and take your pictures that way and i am using a gex stand that i got from amazon it's about 60 dollars um you can find some that are a little bit more affordable but these are the ones that i currently use and that is pretty much how I set up my wigs for display. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you want more videos like this, please comment below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.